Hi there, welcome to Two Birds. I'm Fiona, welcome back if you're joining me again. Today's class is a 45 minute vinyasa flow. It's part four of the Refresh and Restore series of classes. And these practices are designed to rejuvenate your whole body, restore range of motion and help you feel good. And this particular practice has a mellow floor warmer and then a steady, quite continuous standing flow, and then a relaxed and stretchy cool down on the floor. If you like practicing with props, I recommend having a yoga belt and a blanket, but they're not essential. And if you'd like to support me creating posting each week, I'm on Patreon. All the details are in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy your practice. Namaste. And begin your practice laying down in reclined butterfly pose, Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Relax your knees wide. And if you'd like some extra support and comfort, you may wish to roll a blanket into the shape of a sausage, place it over the arches of your feet, and then pad the ends of the blanket to your outer hips. Inviting your hips to rest and relax into something soft. As you come to rest down in your vision of the posture, just take a few moments to settle, smooth and spread the skin of your upper back. Align your spine into a straight line and balance yourself across the back of your hips. Make any final adjustments to your clothes, your shape, and then just rest your hands on your body, inviting yourself to be still, except for the movement of your breath. And begin with some long exhales or sighs, letting go. Letting go of some of the content of your day, some of the content of your thoughts, just exhaling fully to create some clear space for yourself to really enjoy your practice. Landing your awareness softly in the present moment. And as your inhales flow in, let them flow slow. It's welcoming in a feeling of lightness, ease and calm. And take the next minute to breathe deliberately now, an equal part inhale, equal part exhale, establishing a smooth, steady rhythm for your practice. In Ayurveda, the sister science of yoga, our vitality, our health and well-being is a product of our agni, our digestive fire. And this includes the digestion of food into nourishment, as well as the digestion of our daily life experiences into nourishing thoughts and emotions. When our agni is strong, we absorb our food and experiences and, and that creates energy in our body. But when it's weak, we can experience the opposite, the qualities of heaviness and that feeling of low power in your body which can lead to fatigue. Just taking your last few moments here to check in with where you're starting your practice from today. It's like a litmus test. How is it that you feel? And so you can move into your practice with this knowledge and in agreement with yourself. And this willingness to inquire within is the invitation of self-care. It's the only way to really know what you need and allow you to show up at your best. As you feel yourself breathe out now, close the knees in toward one another and then gather your knees in toward your chest. Gently blink your eyes open, welcome the light of your room. Keep your right knee hugging in, extend your left leg out long, rest your left heel to the floor and then tee out your arms, palms down and we'll begin to bring some movement, warmth into your hips, 
I'm going to circle your right knee over to the left, then straighten your leg and circle your way back, re-bending your right knee as you come back and through centre. So keep going, same direction. Try and relax any gripping in your buttocks as you circle. And then roll it back opposite direction. And as you come back through center, transition into reclined tree pose. So step your right foot to the floor and then relax your right knee open. And then on an inhale motion, your arms overhead. Elbows can be a little bit bent or arms straight. Just take a whole body stretch, toes to the tips of your fingers. And then move into a twist. So option to bend both knees for a gentler variation or rolling just your right knee over to the left. Then send your gaze out to your right. Just take three breaths here together. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. Roll onto your back and reset. And gather the knees in toward your chest. Squeeze and mush your low back into the mat. Then keep your left knee hugging in. Send your right leg out. Arms out wide at shoulder height. And then as you're ready, circle your left knee over to the right. Straighten, re-bend as you come back through centre, just circling through your hip, lubricating the hip. Circle back in the opposite direction. And then transitioning into your reclined tree shape, left knee relaxes out to your left, arms overhead, whole body stretch. And then twist in your version, one knee or both knees over to your right, arms out at shoulder height. Then just turn on the back of your head and your gaze out to the left. On purpose now, breathe three, steady, smooth breath. And release and come back through centre. And we'll transition onto all fours from here. You can either take a few rock and rolls through your spine if that feels good, rolling up and over your legs, or ease your way out to one side and we'll all meet up in a tabletop position. And we'll flow through some spinal waves, cat and cow, arching and rounding your spine just when you're ready. So just aim to move at the pace of your slowest breath. Starting to tune in, perhaps sensing any patterns of tension you can feel. The places of ease and space in your body. Taking in all your body's feedback. And then as you're ready, meet me in a neutral spine, flat back. Keep the left hand on the floor. On your inhale, raise your right arm out and then up toward the ceiling. Gently leaning back, give yourself some space to twist. And then as you exhale, thread your right arm under your left, just for a beat there. Twice more, inhale, reach your right arm up. Leaning back gently. Exhale and thread your arm. Once more, breathing in, reach. 
Exhale, three. This time come to rest on your right shoulder, your right side cheek. And then right away, tend your left fingers and walk your left hand away from your face. So you just give yourself some space and room to breathe across your chest. Your left fingertips are there for, to support you so they share the weight with your shoulder. And if you feel like you have more space to twist, there's an option to place your left hand on your right hand, interlace your fingers, and then straighten both your arms. This will lean you a little deeper into the twist. Three slow breaths in and out. Releasing here, place your left palm back on your mat. On an inhale, raise your right arm back up toward the ceiling. Stay with me, exhale, take your right hand to the small of your back and then rest your buttocks to your heels. Just your left arm reaching forward in a child's pose. We'll come into a half camel here. On your inhale, lift your hips above your knees. Right hand supports your low back as you reach your left arm up. Gently pressing your hips forward, extending then arching your spine. Then as you feel yourself breathe out, just release, return to all fours. Left side now, on your inhale, reach your left hand up toward the ceiling, lean back a little, exhale, exhale, left arm passes under your right. Breath to movement, inhale, reach. Exhale, thread, once more, inhale, left arm reaches, and exhale and twist, landing softly now on your left shoulder, left side cheek, then make space for your breath, right fingertips walk out to the side, and you can linger here. Or there's an option to join the hands, interlace the fingers, straighten your arms. And just notice how your breath responds in this shape. Just breathing smoothly toward the space you have. Releasing here, right hand back to your mat and on an inhale, undo your twist, raise the left arm up toward the ceiling. Left hand to the small of your back, buttocks to the heels, rest into a child's pose with your right arm reaching forward. Next inhale, transition into half camel, lifting your hips over your knees, extending your spine, mild back bend as you reach your right hand up for the ceiling. On and exhale, both hands to the floor. And then just taking the next few breaths to make your way into your first downward facing dog. Pedal and sway, move and stretch here. Whatever movements you need to make with your body, small or large, to just establish downward facing dog as your home base. And then begin to root down evenly through your arms, your hands, your fingers and your legs. Finding a feeling of balance. Aware of your breath and the quality of your attention. Take two more steady breaths. Transitioning now, we're going to make our way to the top of the mat. We'll gather together in Malasana Yogi Squat. As you arrive, widen your feet away from one another, ankle your toes out, come to sit down on the back of your calves, hands to pre. So just seeking out an accommodating version of this pose if your knees or your ankles don't like deep flexion, you can stay more elevated 
or take a loose forward fold instead if that feels best. If you're in a squat, easing your elbows into your inner knees to widen the gate of your pose. And then the outer feet press down so you have that rebounding energy coming up a little bit more active. All three parts of your spine extending, heart lifting toward your thumbs. Take another breath in. Exhale, forward fold. And then just shift the feet in to about hips width apart, bending your knees generously. And here, interlace your fingers behind the back of your head. Let your elbows tip forward toward the floor. And just offering a light traction for the back of your neck with your hands. Even pressure through your feet and a light bend in your knees. Going to keep that bend in your knees there. We'll take three half lifts and folds. Keep your hands in place on an inhale. Lift up halfway, open your elbows wide so you can't see them in your peripheral vision. Upper back muscles engage. And then release and fold with your exhale. Twice more, inhale, lift, inner but elbows up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, open up halfway. Exhale and fold, release. And relax your hands down now. Hang in a ragdoll, deeper bend in your knees. Then gently roll up to stand. Sweep your arms overhead. Touch your palms and then lower your hands to your heart centre. We'll move into our standing flow now, starting slow. Take care to move with your own breast rhythm. Pause and rest if you need to. Do less any time. On your inhale, raise your arms over here, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Soften your knees as you go. Breathe your chest forward, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Soften your right knee to the floor. On your inhale, sweep your arms by your ears. Then stay for your exhale, light squeeze to the right buttocks. Inhale, reach, grow long. On your exhale now, arrowhead. Send your arms back alongside your hips. Bring your torso forward and raise your right knee. Just pause for a few breaths, gently drawing your shoulder blades toward one another. Gathering your abdominals in towards centre. Firm and straighten your right leg. So you spread the effort evenly through your body. From here, moving into runner's lunge twist. Keep the legs as is. Plant the right hand down. Circle your left arm up toward the ceiling, twisting to your left. Revolving your right ribs toward your inner left thigh. And then just staying buoyant, lifted through your right thigh. Take one more breath in. And breath out, release, gaze down, we'll step up, top of your mat. Staying low, just inhale, take a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Second side, left foot steps back for your low lunge. Same sequence, arms reach tall. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, lengthen up, spread the fingers. Exhale, arrowhead, sweep your arms back, torso forward, raise the left knee. Just finding that engagement through your upper back, abdominals, left thigh. And then twist left hand to the floor, circle your right hand high. Runner's lunge twist, breathing some space, some ease, lightness into your upper body. Steady and grounded through the hips and your feet. One more breath and release this time, stepping back, downward facing dog. On your inhale, ripple forward to your high push up, pause and engage your front body strong. And then soften your knees, your chest and chin to the floor. Setting up for a locust cobra combo, keep the hands in place. 
your head low, raise just your legs. Ardha Shalabhasana, half locust. Then land your feet, press lightly into your hands, cobra, lift your chest. Lower and press back to a child's pose on your exhale, buttocks to your heels. Then glide up or forwards, press back, downward facing dog. Three steady breaths, breathing in and breathing out. Two more in your own time. Eyes forward, top of the mat, travel there lightly at the end of your exhale. Open and fold with your breath. Slowly rise to stand with your breath in. Lower your hands to your heart centre. Next round, same sequence, breath to movement, warming, opening the whole body. Inhale, arms overhead, spot your thumbs as you gaze up. Forward fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms. On your exhale, arrowhead, arms fly back, torso forward, raise your right knee. Flow into your twist, right hand to the floor, circle your left arm up toward the ceiling. Take a smooth breath in, exhale, release, hands to the floor and step up, top of your mat. Stay low, inhale, Ardha, Uttanasana. Exhale, left foot steps back, low lunge. Breathing in, arms reach overhead. Exhale, arrowhead, sweep your arms back, torso forward, raise the left knee. Runner's lunge twist, left hand to the floor, circle your right hand high. Pause, take another breath. Exhale, hands to the floor and stepping back, downward facing dog. And rest or flow now, your choice. Inhale, plank pose if you're flowing with me. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Locust Cobra, legs lift with your inhale, lower your legs and then lift your chest. Flowing back to your child's pose just for a beat. And then all fours, return to downward facing dog. Three steady breaths. Next inhale, looking forward. End of your exhale, travel lightly to the top of your mat. Open your chest forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise. Come to stand, circle your arms overhead. Lower your prayer hands to your heart centre. And step your feet about hips width apart. Next inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, motion your hips down and back, arms rise alongside your ears and then on your exhale now transfer your weight into your right foot, lower your arms and lift your left knee to your chest, stand. Return to chair on your inhale and then weight into your left foot, float the arms down, raise your right knee. Once more, return to chair. Balance on your right foot, raise your left knee and pause here, standing tall. Kick the legs where they are, raise your arms overhead. And then twist to your left, right hand to your outer left knee, send your left arm back. Standing strong into your right leg so you compact the right hip in toward your midline for balance. 
On your inhale, slowly face forward, reach your arms overhead. Then straighten your left leg forward, any amount, high or low, flex the toes. Coming into arrowhead, move slow, step your left toes back, torso leans forward, arms by your side. On your inhale, low lunge, soften your left knee to the floor, feeling grounded, upright your torso, sweep the arms up. Stay for your exhale, get steady. One more breath, press your palms. On your exhale, twist to your right, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Just pause and hold here. Notice if you can open your chest a little brighter by pressing the right palm into your left. Next breath in, return to your low lunge, arms overhead. Exhale, arrowhead, arms back. Torso forward, stepping up into a chair pose, top of your mat, knees bend, arms reach. And then press to stand, prayer hands to your heart. Take a moment to pause, separate your feet, hips width apart. Standing even, grounded through both your feet. And second side, inhale to your chair pose. Exhale, balance on your left foot, raise your right knee, stand, lower your arms. Return to chair on your inhale. Wade into your right foot, float the arms down, left knee lifts. Once more, chair pose, inhale. Then balance on your left foot, raise the right knee and pause. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale and twist to your right, open the arms, left hand to your outer right knee, right arm reaches back. If you're feeling steady, turn your gaze back. And then inhale, slowly face forward, reach the arms overhead. As you go, straighten your right leg forward, any amount, high or low, toes flexed. Coming into arrowhead, step your right toes back, find the floor, torso forward, arms by your side. And then inhale, low lunge, right knee to the floor, sweep your arms overhead. Stay for your exhale. Take another breath, reach tall, palms press. And then twist to your left, right elbow to the outside of your left knee. And just linger here. Breathing smooth. Return to a, a low lunge, arms reach up. Reversing our way back, arrowhead, arms by your side, torso forward. Stepping up into chair pose on your inhale. Then press to stand, reach tall, straighten the legs, lower your hands to your heart. Moment of pause, separate your feet, make contact with your breath. And final standing flow and we'll add on, same pace. Inhale Utkatasan, chair pose. Then balance on your right foot, raise your left knee, arms by your side. Inhale, return to chair. Exhale, balance on your left foot, right knee lifts. Once more, chair pose on your inhale. Balance on your right foot, left knee lifts and hold. Arms reach overhead. Exhale and twist to your left. Movement to breath, coming back through centre, arms overhead. Straighten your left leg forward. Press your palms, lower your hands to your heart centre. And travel into warrior three, sweep your left leg back, torso forward and hold. Find a steady point of focus, your back 
your core, your legs engaged. Transition slowly into a high lunge. Step the left foot back. Feel your feet into the mat. Lift your torso. Raise your arms. Open out, warrior two, on your exhale. Ground, ground your left heel, center your spine. And we'll just flow now with your breath. On your inhale, reverse your warrior. On your exhale, side angle pose, Pashva Konasana, right forearm to your right knee. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. And side angle pose. Keep the side waist nice and long. Once more, inhale, reverse. And side angle pose and hold. You may wish to come down a little deeper into your shape. Just trying to manage your shape so you only go far as your breath is clear, full and easeful. Take two more breaths. On your out breath, release, fingertips to the floor, coming into the half splits, Ada Hanuman. Tap your left knee to the floor and work towards straightening through your right leg. As you go, flex your right toes. You can keep a little micro bend in the knee if your hamstrings are blocking you there. Another option is to rotate from your hip slightly so your right foot rolls in and out to the left and to the right, just shifting those sensations through the back and sides of your leg and your foot. And then on your inhale, lunge forward onto the fingertips Step up, top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. Chair pose as you breathe in. And then press to stand, lower your hands. And keep some space between your feet. Left side now, inhale chair. Balance on your left foot, raise your right knee, lower your arms. Same cycle, inhale, chair pose, two feet down. Balance on your right foot, left knee lifts. Once more, chair. Balance on your left foot, right knee lifts. Hold here. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. And then twist to your right. Come back through centre, reach your arms overhead, same time straighten, straighten your right leg forward. Press your palms overhead, lower your hands to your heart centre, finding your midline through the press of your hands. Transitioning into warrior three, right leg sways back, torso forward, hold and breathe here. Feel free to use your hands on the floor. Transitioning into a high lunge, right foot steps back. Slowly lift your torso, raise your arms. On an exhale, warrior two, ground and seal your right heel. So reach your arms forward and back evenly to center yourself. Flowing now with your breath, inhale, reverse your warrior. And side angle pose, left forearm, left knee, inhale, reverse, exhale, side angle, once more, reverse your warrior, exhale, side angle pose and hold, each inhale that arrives in your body, just finding more space, more length through the sides of your waist. Every exhale, a sense of ease, groundedness. 
Take two more breaths. On your exhale, fingertips to the floor transitioning into Ardha Hanuman, half splits. Right knee softly to the floor, straighten your left leg. And you can remain quite static here if that feels best or explore a little movement, waving your foot left and right and initiating that movement from your hip rather than just your foot and ankle. If you're moving, just take one more pass through. <laughs> and then lunging forward onto the fingertips, this time stepping back, downward facing dog. On your inhale, plank pose, pause. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Locust cobra with the tide of your breath. Child's pose as you breathe out and rest here. You can take your knees wide or narrow. Take a few breaths here to settle and soften. Letting the shoulders completely relax, your jaw loosen, your belly can soften so your breath can just fall into it. Each time we practice intentionally, we attend to our own well-being. Just finding the time to practice with an awareness of what you need in the moment not only serves your own body, mind, but you're more able to then draw from a deeper feeling of ease you create for yourself to shine your light toward others as well as yourself. And gently ease your way out of the shape. We're going to make our way down onto our backs now as you transition grab any additional layers you may wish to have as we wind down. If you have a yoga bell, just placing that off to one side in reach. Move through a dynamic bridge to check in now with how you're feeling through your spine, your hips. Stepping your feet to the mat. In toward your buttocks, feet hips width apart. Place your arms alongside your body. And on an inhale, raise just your arms overhead. On your exhale, bring your arms forward to the floor and raise your hips into bridge. Inhale, lower your hips, take your arms overhead. You can have a little bend in the elbows there. And then exhale. Squeeze your knees in toward your chest. Again, feet to the floor, send your arms overhead. Breathing out, arms forward to the floor, raise your hips into bridge. Inhale, arms overhead, lower your buttocks. Exhale, gather your knees in toward your chest. Transitioning into happy baby pose, separating your knees wide, catch the outer edges of your feet or the back of your knees and encourage your knees to track down toward your armpits, shins perpendicular with the floor. You might like to take a little sway side to side here, massaging your back into the floor. And then release. We'll move into reclined big toe pose, supta, padangustasana. Go ahead, hug your right knee in toward your chest, left foot to the floor. If you have a belt, you can loop the belt around the balls of your right toes. And we'll all extend right heel up toward the ceiling. If you're not using a belt, you can just interlace your hands anywhere behind the back of your right leg at a height that allows you to rest and surrender your upper body into the mat. 
without flattening the curve of your low back. Take three slow breaths. And then guide your right knee out to the right now. Belt into your right hand, left hand, top of the left thigh or out to the side. Three slow breaths. Just exploring your own range here, lengthening into the inner seam of your right leg, not too far, not too deep. Aiming to keep your left buttocks grounded, hips level. Return to centre and motioning your right leg over to your left now. So legs can form an L shape and you can roll onto the left pinky toe side of your foot or modify there. Your left knee can stay bent and your right leg crosses in front of your left knee and you can explore turning your right toes down toward the floor for more sensation through the outer calf, outer hip. And then we'll come back through centre and switch sides. Just release both feet to the floor. Take the belt to one side if you have one. Left knee hugs in. Extending your left leg up toward the ceiling. Three slow breaths. Left leg carefully out to your left now, kicking out through your left heel. Try and relax your outer left buttocks. They'll want to grip, so just gent gently releasing, relaxing. Make your way back through centre and over to your right, your version there. Your right knee could be bent, foot on the floor, or legs into an L shape. Slowly back to centre. Release the belt to one side if you have one. Gather your knees in toward your chest. Take a little rock side to side. And if you have a final posture you'd like to just explore here at the end of your practice, moving into that now. If you're ready to rest and restore, making yourself comfortable in corpse pose, Shavasana, laying down on your back. Take up some space around you now, lay the palms face up to invite your shoulders to open. Relax your legs a little wider than your hips and invite your feet to fall away from one another. Shuffling out any restlessness from your body. And gently closing your eyes. And before you rest completely, just consider this, that your practice is designed to lead you back to yourself, to your own home base, so you can feel whole, unencumbered and authentic, to find balance. And progress in your practice is defined by your ability to find this balance and allow your energy, your prana, to flow freely so you can really live and exist happily in a healthy space, feeling mentally flexible, feeling adaptable and full of vitality. So the key to finding this balance is to keep checking in, practicing self-care, keeping an interest in your own participation in life, and when we stay connected inside, we can stay current and present in our lives. 
It's taking the next minute or so to allow yourself to be completely still, to let go of past or future, reside in the present, and enjoy the nurturing fix of relaxing. I'll be back to guard you back. And gently, softly drifting your awareness back. Become aware of all the sounds you can hear, the motion of the day around you. Give your whole body a stretch and a wriggle. And bend your knees, place your feet to the floor. And rolling out to your right side, just pause and linger for a few moments, blinking your eyes open, adjusting to the light in your room, and really notice how you feel at the end of your practice. Take that feeling with you as you move out into your day, gently dragging your way back up to sit. Thanks so much for joining me from your part of the world. I hope you're feeling refreshed and ready to step into the rest of your day. Namaste.